Hey, superstars, today is a little different. Today I'm making, is it a sculpture? Is it a painting? Uh, I'm trying to talk here. Can you turn that down a little? That's better. Anyway, I love making stuff and I was inspired by an artist named Steve Casino who's famous for making these tiny little caricature sculptures out of peanuts. But I'm not working in peanuts today. He also makes these bas relief wall hanging pieces of celebrities that are really, really neat. I thought to myself, I want to try that. So here's my attempt at Bob Feller. This sanding footage is super boring. You don't want to see that. So let's move along, shall we? Laser dungeon. So this is the kind of stuff I bought the laser for. I could do it all by hand, but it would take forever and it just wouldn't look the same. What am I apologizing for? Lasers are cool. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. Let's see if I can remember how to put this thing together. That's starting to look like something. Time to glue this bad boy up. I'm using CA glue or super glue. Just gotta make sure I don't glue my beard to this thing. Oh, this is great footage at the top of my head. Great job, Scott. This was a little challenging, but I took my time and I got it right eventually. More exciting footage of my head there. I can't say that I've made anything like this before. It's kind of like a puzzle, kind of like a model kit. Look at that, pretty cool, time for paint. For some reason I thought it would be smart to paint a skin blue, but I'm pretty sure Bob Feller wasn't a smurf. I was working with uh, black and white reference, so I was kind of going for a vintage feel. Also, I wondered uh, about this time if it would have been better to paint this before I glued it up. I might try that next time, but this seemed to work just fine. Adding the most colorful bits will help me decide if I like that skin tone or not. Looking a little zombie-ish, but we can fix that later. I'm using acrylics on this project. It's been quite a while since I've painted with acrylics, so bear with me. So I chose Bob Feller because he's my son's favorite player. I tell this story often, but when he was eight, he came across some old Abbott and Costello recordings of Who's On First, and that sort of humor is right up his alley. And if you've ever heard the whole skit, Abbott and Costello talk about that feller feller. You mean the feller that pitches is feller and there's other fellers on the team, but they're not fellers? He loves wordplay like that, and he thinks that skit's hilarious, so the boy's got good taste in both comedy and baseball players. He's kind of moved on to Monty Python and Mystery Science Theater, but he still has an appreciation for Rapid Robert. I love these big baggy uniforms from the 40s. Those are so cool. There, that skin tone is much better. I imagine this video doesn't do this justice, but that layered wood just makes the whole thing pop. It's really, really cool. I'm very pleased with how this came out. It's not perfect by any means, but it was a lot of fun. I'd definitely like to try some more of these. I hope you enjoyed my little experiment. Be a good feller and like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Be good, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Really, Scott?